Dan Larson here at the photo booth with a collection that I purchased recently. It's three boxes strong. There's a lot of stuff here, so we're breaking it up into three different videos. This is box one. Let's go. Uh, before we get uh, too far into this, this is a gigantic box. It barely fits in the booth, as you can see. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to pull stuff like directly out of the box here. Uh, or I, rather, I don't want to leave this in frame because you can't see anything. All you can see is the box here. Uh, so what I'll probably do is most of the stuff inside is in bags and whatever. So I'll pull the box out and then uh, I'll just sort of bring the bags up into frame and we'll go through it that way. Uh, right off the top here, you can see that there is a uh, Chewbacca Wookiee bowcaster. Uh, well, I don't know if there's any darts in here. Uh, it's definitely, it's got this uh, pull tab and then you can shoot the darts uh, if there's any in here, but either way, a uh, cool piece there, and then uh, lots of other stuff. So I'm just going to slide this out of frame real quick here. All right, there we go. So first off, uh, obviously, we have the bowcaster. We're going to move that over there. And then next up, actually, there's a couple of pieces that aren't. Now I'm going to have to reframe. There's a couple of pieces that aren't actually in bags or anything. They're just sort of loose in the box. So here we have a uh, Dungeons & Dragons, Advanced Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, this is Warduke's horse, which, if you ever forget that this is Warduke's horse, there we go, uh, you'll, you'll be able to remember because it's got Warduke's legs on it part, as part of the saddle here. It's a little dusty. Uh, this is actually in incredibly good shape here. Uh, it's, I mean, obviously, you still got the saddle. Missing the reins, uh, but almost always uh, at least one of these hooves is broken off. So that's cool to see. Next up, we've got... <laughs> uh, I don't know, this is like Gizmo's cousin or something. This is a weird, this is a weird knockoff piece for sure. Uh, I don't, I don't think there's any markings on this. Yeah, there's no markings on it or anything. And just, I mean, just from the look of it, you can tell that that is not, that is not an official piece whatsoever. It is weird. It doesn't, uh, the head doesn't really move. So I don't know what uh, the origin of that is other than my nightmares. Speaking of nightmares, I've got the I don't know if there was a name for this. And I don't know if this thing can stand. Hang on. Yeah, okay, so it's got like one weird rear leg ten tendril, one weird tendril. There's no way this thing is standing. I'll just uh, lay him down all cash like that. Never had this thing before. Uh, you know, for, for whatever, ID for Independence Day is, I never really fell in love with the alien designs. Uh, I like the airplanes. Will Smith was cool. Jeff Goldblum is awesome. But uh, the alien designs never, I don't know. They just felt like they were, you know, xenomorphs. Just kind of extrapolated uh, for a bit. Um, but this one definitely has, I don't, yeah, the batteries are dead on this thing. Uh, it has uh, lights and sounds. I think it's actually motion activated little sensor on front there. And then it's got the uh, alien on the inside sitting in the cockpit. It's translucent though, so that's cool. And these tendrils are, what a thing. What a, what a, who made this? Uh, can't see. Just a whole, whole bunch of stuff going on there. A lot of toy there. And I'm, I guess, I'm guessing this rear, oh, there's, there's supposed to be another tendril on the back here. That would actually form like, you know, sort of a, a tripod, quadrupedal kind of situation where he'd actually be able to stand up. Uh, all he's doing right now is marking up my photo booth with his big toe claw things there. A couple more things that aren't actually in bags. Uh, this super sweet bendy skeleton. I have no idea what the origin of this thing is. Uh, it says Manly, M-A-N-L-E-Y, Manly, 1994, made in China. That guy is just, uh, or gal, this thing is super, super cool. Glowing red eyes, bendy all around. Will make a very nice addition to uh, our Halloween decorations. I don't know if these were common, I don't know. Uh, I don't recall ever seeing anything like this before. I mean, yeah, bendy skeletons, but not this one specifically. And I've certainly never heard of Manly as a manufacturer of any kind of stuff. Uh, might have been sold at like party stores or whatever. Halloween, literally as Halloween decorations, who knows? Uh, or perhaps, perhaps it was made by Mego and it's the skeleton of Ponch. <laughs> uh, man, this guy looks like a zombie. He's seen better days. That's, that's rough. Uh, I'm going to 
pull my lights back a little bit here. This guy's seen uh, much, much better days. He, uh, I, you know, I used to have this one when I was a kid, and uh, it was definitely one of my favorite figures. Oh man, his shoulders broken. <laughs> this is uh, this is poor Ponch after he was in a motorcycle accident. Uh, his knees busted, shoulders busted, other shoulder. Yeah, you know, it's possible. Let's let's uh, let's do some triage here. Get his shirt off and see how how damaged we are inside. You can take a minute for yourself too and find out how damaged you are inside as well. Um, this looks like it might have been. Mm, uh, there we go. All right, just pop that shoulder back in the socket and get his wrecked shirt off here. Oh boy, that's rough. Yeah, the little clips. Oh, these might actually, this might be salvageable because the little clips just sort of got lodged. Oh, maybe not. I don't know what's going on here. Well, I don't know if his knee is going to fix that that uh, that easily. And I don't know if this color is ever coming back to his face. That's uh, that's pretty rough. But yeah, I used to have that uh, when I was a kid, you know, obviously in better condition. And it was one of my favorite toys. He had a removable helmet. Uh, I don't remember if the sunglasses were part of the helmet, uh, but he had like his, you know, belt, his utility belt, and, you know, the gun could go in the holster. I, I lost all those accessories. He had a gun, a baton, some other stuff. I had this like ball of blue clay that I would play with and somehow that ball of blue clay <laughs> became a thing that I used with a bunch of my toys and so I would put the I would put Ponch would get wrapped up in this blue clay ball uh, and so it would just be all like in his joints and in his uh, just in all the in his clothes it, anyway it got damaged and uh, that was the last time I had a Mego Ponch so hey welcome back this is probably what mine would have looked like <laughs> if I still had my original. Uh, in this bag, we got some more random bits. Boy, oh, that is a rough looking He-Man. Holy cow. That is a that is a tough looking piece right there. Oof. I don't know if there's any salvage in that either. Got a bunch of uh, miscellaneous dinosaurs. Just a little like rubber and plastic assortment. Oh, we got another He-Man in here. All right, this one's in better shape. Still got his uh, armor. Uh, legs are still intact. They are pretty wobbly though. Ah, it's busted. Oh, but there's a nice uh, attempted repair there. It's what it looks like, uh, I don't know if that's fishing line, but that's a clever little, it's a clever attempt to salvage that. Uh, super common to have that broken, of course. This is a Taiwan piece, squishy head. Hands are in good shape. Nice. Oh, we got, all right. So we've got the two-headed dinosaur, dinosaur, two-headed dragon from Otherworld which we haven't covered yet on the show, but we will cover it at some point. It's on our list. I had this one as a kid, loved it. Uh, I had this one in the bird. Uh, this one, I mean, talk about a weaponized toy. Holy cow. This is like so like really, really hard plastic. And these spines are deadly, deadly, deadly sharp. Uh, absolutely. And then, you know, it's got like bendy parts here up in the front. Um, but that thing is just absolutely dangerous. We got a little... Uh, Corsair, we've got, ah, here we go, we've got uh, some Thundercats, the non-posable version, we've got, uh, ooh, Muffet from Battlestar Galactica, that's a nice piece, his tail is intact, which it almost never is, I was pretty psyched to get a, like, almost mint condition one loose uh, not too long ago, uh, one of my favorite toys as a kid, uh, mine definitely lost the tail very early on, and we've got <laughs> Clawful, Rocking out with uh, the armor from the accessory pack. I wonder if that's a... I wonder if they lost the the two pieces of his shell and just decided to throw that on. Or if they just like the way it looked and they're like, Hey, you know what? I paid for this accessory pack. I'm going to use the pieces. Uh, and then we've got a super retro wooden toy boat here with the initials NZ or ZN. I'm not sure. Uh, carved on there. That's... Uh, and we've got a bunch of dead leaves. All right. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Next bag is uh, slide some of this stuff out of the way. There we go. Next up, we have oh boy, whole bunch of turtles, scumbug, and oh hey, this guy doesn't belong in here. Vintage Kenner Gamorian Guard, nice. We got some punk frogs. We got Splinter. Got my favorite, Usagi Yojimbo. 
Oh man, I was so excited when this figure got released. Uh, and then, once again, nice, very good condition. We've got uh, all four armor plates on him. Genghis Frog and Napoleon Bonafrog. Nice. We've got the Rat King with his belt. We've got uh, Raphael. This is uh, Hardhead Raphael. We've got Slash. Another one of my favorites from this line. Loved the idea of the evil turtle. Turtle, but not just that. I loved the interpretation of it and the, you know, inclusion of those sort of slash elements, slash shredder elements. Baxter Stockman, another amazing piece. You know, I didn't go in on the Super 7 line uh, because I was afraid that I would just go, you know, I, I would go too far into it. Uh, and budget-wise, it just did not work for me. So uh, pretty cool to see these vintage pieces again. I think the only vintage turtle I actually have in my regular collection uh, until this moment uh, is Usagi Ojimbo. I don't think I really have any of the others. Uh, super psyched when this line came out originally. Definitely all in on it at the time. Plus, I my younger brother was, uh, he was much more the age group for this line. So it was really easy to, you know, sort of justify like, oh yeah, no, I'm just uh, bonding with my brother. Hey mom, you should get that uh, figure. In fact, this one I distinctly remember saying to my mother at the time, you know, uh, Greg would uh, probably, Greg's really into dinosaurs. He'd probably dig that one. You should pick that up for him. And then, you know, doing the like, all right, let me show you how this uh, works. And then just playing with that, you know, myself. We've got a uh, wind up Donatello. I'm not even sure how this one works. Is this thing supposed to walk? Yeah, no way. That's all set there. And then what else we got in here? We got an ace duck. Nice. Such a weird, such a weird figure. Such a weird character. I like this just looks like, it looks like Donald Duck. It looks like it shouldn't even be in this line or launch pad McQuack. It was... Little Emperor pencil topper thing. No idea how old that is. Uh, and then we've got some Star Wars figures in here. Some more Star Wars figures to go along with that Gamorrean guard. Got a regular 3PO, non-removable limbs. He's rough. He is uh, definitely seeing better days. We've got a Chewbacca. Power droid with no antenna. Still clickety. Greedo with his antenna, which are always busted off. He's an okay shape. And then a uh, Django Fett with removable helmet, but not removable head. So it's probably from Attack of the Clones. Or excuse me, uh, yeah, Attack of the Clone. Uh, next up, there's some space over here. There is more stuff. We've got to go along with, uh, where's he at? To go along with Almost Gizmo. We've got Bendy Stripe. Ah, man, you know, when this when these figures came out, uh, especially this Bendy Stripe, I remember wanting more Gremlin stuff, and there just not being enough uh, things out there. You know, there was a couple of different scales of pieces, uh, just just nothing really like, you know, there was nothing in that sort of Star Wars G.I. Joe scale uh, other than the Bendy pieces and non-posable PVC type things. Nice, this is a cool piece. Got these... Uh, uh, yeah, okay. It's a... Uh, <laughs> This is a it, Imperial is the brand, uh, you know, came out at the same time as Masters of the Universe stuff, sort of obviously designed to go with Masters and, yeah, you know, maybe trick some people into buying them that didn't really know what they were and did, couldn't tell the difference. Uh, but there's a lot, there's quite a few of these different uh, dragons and mounts and stuff. Um, some of them actually work <laughs> really, really well. Uh, and, and I would recommend, usually they have saddles too. I would definitely recommend picking these up if you're a Masters of the Universe fan, looking for a little bit more. Uh, to do a little, just a little bit more variation in the line. And they've all got like different, slightly different paint decos and stuff. You know, some have like a really distinct green. Uh, some might have less up there. Just nice to shake that line up a bit as well with some non-official merch to go with it. Uh, here, for some reason, there's two hook horrors <laughs> in the box. Uh, that's cool. One of the cooler designs from uh, early Dungeons and Dragons for sure. And definitely one of the cooler monsters from the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons line of toys. Uh, speaking of, we've got some more, uh, we've got some more Dungeons and Dragons stuff here, some sort of orc or troll or something. I don't know officially what that guy is supposed to be. Uh, we've got another piece. Ah, this poor guy. This poor griffin. Let's slide these guys out of the way. Uh, great looking toy. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Unfortunately, it has wings that uh, absolutely, yeah, here's the wings, that absolutely suffer from GPS, gold plastic syndrome. Um, even in the best of conditions, they're usually broken. 
and then bust it off here. There, uh, oop, his arm just fell off. Yeah, there's there's really no salvaging that, unfortunately. This thing is just crumbling. Like, <laughs> the longer I stare at it, the longer I look at this thing, the more it's just sort of falling apart. Uh, that's too bad. And and I honestly, I don't know that that's necessarily a gold plastic thing. It definitely is for the wings, but I think this is painted on, so I don't know that that would necessarily suffer the same ill effects that uh, gold plastic syndrome usually causes in toys. Uh, here we've got a blaster from... Uh, Phantom Menace. That's cool. I don't think I have that one in my regular collection. And then we've got uh, a tin, a little tin here of Mega Bloks Dragons. This is the war chest. So yeah, I would assume that's actually what's in here. Instruction booklet. Yep. And a bunch of little Mega Bloks. Uh, sort of like castle pieces and all the little knights and stuff. Uh, I'm not really familiar with this. Those dragons look great. And in fact, I may actually have one or two of those dragons. Yeah, it might be different ones. I have a couple of Mega Bloks dragons that I use with the Masters of the Universe uh, Mega Constructs figures. And they look great and they scale great. Uh, but I don't know if that's actually them. Moving on to the next bag here. We've got more turtles. We got a Donatello, Hardhead. We've got. Let's see if uh, do we have both Bebop and Rock Steady? Yeah, we do. Nice. Oh, he's got his uh, belt there. Awesome. General Trag, Panda Khan, all of his armor pieces. Got Krang's chair. Do we have Krang? Whoa! C and double. Two shredders. One with and one without cape. Nice. Still a cool figure. Uh, I, I like it's I didn't go in for Super 7's ultimates and stuff. I would like to. I would like to at least have that shredder. Uh, never even saw the ones um, on the shelves, the two pack. I really wanted to grab the Leonardo Shredder two pack from Super 7. Uh, excuse me, from NECA, but never saw it on the shelves at Target. So what are you going to do? Got a foot soldier, my favorite, Leonardo. Good to see him again. And then uh, Leatherhead. Fun figure. Fun line. Just a lot of, just a awesome, awesome line with a lot of great figures. A lot of timeless stuff going on there. Uh, all right, we got another role play weapon here. Got a Star Wars. This is the squirt gun version. This one came out in the 90s. Uh, 96, um, same, pretty, pretty close to the original mold that, uh, was released for, you know, Star Wars Empire in Return, uh, but this one squirts water, and I think this, uh, pull down on here, load it up with water, and it's, I believe it's motorized, that's the whole jam, kind of like an Entertech kind of piece, um, and then of course they, it's not colored black, so that it doesn't look like a real gun. <laughs> All right, we've also got, oh, here's another, here's uh, another broken piece of wing. We've got a, I don't know if this is a chimera or, a, yeah, I don't remember. But we got snake head, lion head, goat head, bendy figure from Dungeons and Dragons. Not one of the best pieces, but still neat. And then uh, McFarlane, Headless Horseman, that has seen better days, and not just because he's missing his head, but holy cow, is this thing dusty. <laughs> Trigger warning for anybody with uh, <coughs> allergies. Oh man, that's real bad. Uh, we've got the other tentacle, the other standing tentacle for the ID4 alien. Uh, in here, this is a, uh, can't make out what's actually on the bag here. Definitely used to have some kind of logo. But inside here we have all the turtle weapons, or at least a lot of them. I won't know until uh, I go through and inventory this stuff if this is actually all. Nice to see Ace Duck's wings though. Knives, shields, got a uh, pizza in here, all kinds of weapons, some Donat. Nope, that's uh, is this Donatello's. Now, this used to have something on it. This might be Donatello's staff busted. But uh, that's cool. All kinds of weapons. Nope. 
That's not Ninja Turtles, it's Masters of the Universe. Who all kinds of good stuff there. Excellent. All the weapons. Nice. I don't know. I don't know. Just just eyeballing it. I'm not sure if that's all the weapons for all of those Ninja Turtles figures, but it certainly is quite a bit. What else we got? We got a uh, Hydra here, a Bendy Hydra from Dungeons and Dragons. We got a weird little Jar Jar thing, weird little Yoda thing, <laughs> and then I'm not sure whose staff this is. You have to look that up or let me know in the comments down below if you recognize that. All right, we got one more bag, two more bags, and then one other piece here on this box of stuff. This bag, we've got, sweet, we got Lando, Skiff Guard Lando, we got the Klaatu, got a Ninja Turtles Pez dispenser, got an axe for uh, Thundercats. Oh, nice, Silverhawks. I don't remember whose this is. If it spins like that. Boop, 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 boop. We have uh, uh, that, I think, is Zelda. Not, I don't know if that's Zelda. I don't know the whole mythos well enough to know who this character actually is, but it's from Legend of Zelda. Boss Nass. Uh, what? <laughs> I think this is uh, Anakin's cousin, I believe. Uh, oh, there's Krang. Nice. Put him in right next to, uh, it's, like, it's like they're the same picture. Got, ah, sweet, look, Boba Fett Pez Dispenser. I've got like a million of those. Darth Vader uh, Pez Dispenser. In fact, if you ever have one of these and think, I should send this to Dan, don't. I've got, uh, in fact, uh, that goes for my mom too, because she keeps sending me those too. We got a uh, training, Sith training, I think. Darth Maul. Skeletor's uh, Havoc Staff. That's cool. Another Chewbacca, this guy's got a wide stance. He is dusty. A tiny Voltron sword. That doesn't go to the full-size uh, die-cast piece. That must be for the smaller die-cast one. Nice chrome. Looking good there. We got another power droid with antenna. Very cool. Very nice. Tiny Darth Vader. Tiny Qui-Gon. Uh, I don't know. It's like a Jabba. I'll wait for that police siren to go by. We got a tiny little Jabba. And then we've got a third power droid, second with antenna, nice. Uh, no robe Yoda, and a squat little SD looking battle droid. I think that's all for that. All right, that's all for that. We've got uh, one giant piece here, which I may actually have to reframe for this, but we'll see. Maybe I can just lay them up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't fit. <laughs> uh, and in humanoids decompose which is insane this is crazy uh, i have had a couple of inhumanoids in the past i don't know i don't know if i've had a decompose before ah, probably but uh what a toy line what a thing i never really cared for the figures like the actual human figures uh you know they were kind of like gi joe but just just not as good not as you know, the, I felt like the armor that they had, they had tiny little heads and stuff. So that was always kind of disappointing, but that is really, really neat. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not like super surprised by any of the stuff that's in here. I did buy this collection on purpose, so I, you know, I knew what was going on. Uh, I just haven't seen it in a long time, so I did kind of forget everything that was in here. Uh, not everything I knew this bag was in here. <laughs> um, inside this bag, just like power droids, we have three vintage Boba Fetts. So if you're wondering why I went after this collection, uh, forget all that other stuff. I definitely wanted these. <laughs> so, uh, so that's box one of this collection. It was a heck of a collection. I was really uh, excited to grab it. Uh, lots of cool stuff that I have had before and haven't seen in a while. Um, stuff that's in better condition than a few of the pieces I already have, but uh, looking forward to showing you the other two boxes here soon. Anyway, thank you for watching this in all of our videos. Hit like, hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. If you got here without realizing that we have another channel, please head over to Regular Toy Galaxy and subscribe there as well. If you haven't heard, we started streaming on Twitch. Find us at twitch.tv slash toygalaxy. 
If you're in the position to help the channel grow, please visit our Patreon or become a YouTube channel member. Please share this video and let us know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was, or better yet, what you think my favorite piece was. Uh, that's too easy. Anyway, later. <laughs>